it's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the TJ FX channel. Yes, we are bringing another video. It's all to do with the stop line, also known as SL. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the key things about moving SL to entry, the pros and cons. When should you move SL to entry? Many people move SL to entry, they get tapped out, and then the trade goes into profit. If this is happened to you, make sure to subscribe and like the video, comment below because it happens to me all the time. There's been times when I've moved SL to entry and then I go and hit a 200 pip trade. There's been too many times I go into a trade, it closes me out, I break even, it drops 40 to 50 pips and then comes back to SL entry, then drops another freaking 100 pips. That happens pretty much all the time. now. If this is happening to you, then you're going to want to watch the rest of the video because I do an analysis on an actual trade we took on the free trades. Link in description, free to join, click it, limited amount of people to get involved now. I do a chart analysis, explain the trade that we took, moving SL to entry, and why it actually had a negative effect moving SL to entry. But I'm also going to talk about the pros of moving SL to entry because obviously if the trade closes you out, it doesn't actually matter. That trade is risk free and there's nothing in the world that's risk free. Make sure you are subscribed to TJ FX Reacts, also my TJ FX Shoes channel. All of my channels are linked with every channel so you can go on my about, subscribe to all of that sort of stuff. And yeah, I'm popping out videos one every day until I burn out. So let's get into this video, baby. Many people, many traders, many beginners, they move SL to entry as soon as their trade goes 5, 10, 15, 20 pips into profit. Now, yes, this is perfect. I advise highly to move SL to entry after 30 pips. But also, if you see the breakout, you can obviously wait for the breakout to happen, then move SL to entry. There's no right or wrong answer. However, it's all to do with adapting to how the markets are. It's all to do with market conditions. Now, if the markets are ranging 50 pips, there's no point moving SL to entry because if it's consolidating, you're just gonna be stopped out after running in profit. Now, this is where a lot of traders, they, un they don't actually make sense with moving SL to entry because they end up getting tapped out and missing the profits. It's easy to be, it's easier to say this than actually to take action. As we said, market conditions can vary on different days and also you have news. Now, that's why there's many different reasons to move in SL to entry. When you've got news coming out, you wanna move SL to entry, even though I highly advise not to trade news because you could actually get wicked out for like way over two, 300 pips. I've seen it before. I've seen gold drop three, 400 pips in a second. I've seen that shit, so trust me, it can. And this is what people don't understand you can lose a lot of money. So when people aren't using any SLs, it makes no sense. One thing I would take from moving SL to entry, and I explain this on the chart analysis, which is coming up in a second, you have to be certain that your trade's coming in. Like I said at the start of the video, you have to wait for a breakout to actually move your SL to entry, or if you're not 100% sure on the trade. If you actually feel like you can't take any sort of risk percentage on the trade, then technically you shouldn't be entering into the market at that point anyway. However, if you do due to emotion or due to actually believing in yourself and wanting to get into that trade, then that's absolutely fine. But remember, SL at entry doesn't always mean risk free because it can wick out of your SL. That is for the people that are taking challenge accounts or like are like minus 0.5% away from failing and they're just, you know, they're just using tight SLs or whatnot and get wicked out. It's important to realize that with tight spreads also, you get charged a commission fee. Therefore, even though it's risk free, you're still taking a commission charge from that brokerage. So technically it is still a loss. I know it's not a bigger loss, but I go into it to detail right now. So make sure you subscribe, enjoy this part, cause it's a banner. Let's go baby. Okay, what's good? So let me just show you what I mean with about moving the SL to entry too soon. So on free trades, link in description, join up. I want to see 3,000 people in there by the end of the week. We've seen this sell off. We called sales at 1774 at this area here. 
Let me just put it into uh, replay mode as well. So you can see what actually happens. And uh, yeah, we called cells here. 776 SL as well, which means it's a 20 pip stop loss. And the reason why moving your SL to entry too soon can have a massive negative effect on your trade is because if you catch the right market direction, but your trade has actually come back to SL and closed you out for break even, and then you miss that, you could potentially miss a 200 pip drop like this trade right here. And uh, that's where I think it's going to go anyway. As you can see, 1773, we saw the wick right here wick out the previous sell off here when it wicked below into the bearish engulfing. So we're seeing a retest back down to daily main support 1678. This was a fake touch. Now we're reading this, we check the 1H, and uh, yeah, this basically trade played out in our gold group and free trades. And this is exactly what happened. Price was going well. And uh, yeah, we'll just go down to five minutes. But yeah, price is going well. Seeing it come up, move the SL to entry. Bang. Closed out too soon. We would never have hit SL as our SL was 1776. Way above. And technically now, if you check the 1H, high, high, retesting previous lows, probably down to 1764. Then we'll see a retest at around 1773. And then further sells back down. But yeah, this is going to sell off really hard. And this is basically what I was just talking about. And I just wanted to show you an example. This just happened to me today, Monday. Um, I'm not now in this trade. Missing out on those profits. Probably get the retest. That's why I'm saying join up the free trades. But yeah, great demonstration. And it's all to do with the psychology and timing. So make sure you learn from mistakes. You don't move your SL to entry too many times. But then again... You want it risk free and not risk any percent it's also good to do so so it's just about self developing learning from mistakes and moving forward and taking action on that so progress is being made anyway it's been your boy tj subscribe to the channel daily content coming on tjfx reacts and also the main channel plus the shorts links in the description it's getting confusing now but i'm on that grind peace baby